personal. It's the number one voice of the tri-state. I'm uh, number one. It, 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 it's it's clicking up, up to one five. So let the show begin. Here we go. You already know who it is. It's your boy Smooth, and this is Cooking Up 2 on 5, where we get you up close and personal with your favorite artists, entrepreneurs, shakers, and move makers. And we got a major guest tonight, man. We got Philly Zone Mac in the building. What's up, Mac? Glad to yeah. have you, man. I appreciate really appreciate you having me. Appreciate, appreciate you coming through, man. You know, you prince of the city. If, you, if you're <laughs> pop king of Philly, you know, <laughs> you, you got to be the prince now. You know what I mean? That's what's up, man. You, you got a lot going on. You working yeah. on the tape right now. Yeah. Trials and tribulations. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, that's what's up. That's yeah, I'm what's working up. on that. That's what I mainly been doing. Locked in the studio and shit. That should be uh, dropping like um, probably like the beginning of the new year. Beginning of new year. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I seen it like all 22 it was like using the studio heavy. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's for real, for, that's all me and my uh, brother Cheese used to be doing. Just, Just staying in the studio. Yeah, staying in the studio. Like I know a lot of people probably be wondering why we don't be dropping, but feel me? I'm about to, unfortunately, you know me and bro was trying to drop, but you right. feel me? I'm about to carry it and, yeah. and continue it. But we got a lot of shit though. Yeah, because I'm I'm like, damn, if, if y'all was in the studio that much, and like you said, I wasn't seeing too much. Like, you know, y'all was releasing here and there, but yeah. it wasn't like y'all was flooding, but y'all stayed in it still. So is a lot of that music, you still using that music? You still putting that music out? Yeah, I was thinking like, you feel me? So, because uh, that's all my brother wanted too, like, you feel me, for people to hear, you feel me, hear our music and shit. Right. So, uh, since I got so much music, I was just thinking, like, you feel me? The tape I'm about to drop now, I'm going to put, like, three songs on there that I recorded with him. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Uh, matter of fact, it's three songs on there with him, and then I got another song on there with him and me and uh, Sean Sloan, if you know who that is. Yeah, I seen y'all yeah, in the studio. I got, I got a song with him on there with me and Cheese and shit. So that's what I was just thinking about doing. Like, every time I drop some, like, drop a tape, Put some of that. Yeah, just put some of our music on there so they could still get the hearing. You keep, feel keep me? And keep, still keep, hear the keep, song. Keep them on there, and keep it's them like alive. you we ain't just record all them songs, you know, for nothing. Cause Thanks. me and Bro probably got over like a hundred songs together. Damn. That's unreleased. That we yeah, y'all like, was really yeah. recording, recording. Uh -huh. Much as people probably thought y'all was bullshitting and just, you know what I mean, yeah. just chilling, dropping here and there. You really was building, stocking up, yeah. as you should. Cause then once you, I always tell me, once you start, you can't stop. So you really gotta be ready. Uh -huh. piled up ammunition you know what i mean so even if you in that in a point where you can't you know catch a groove you still got work in the tub that you can always release so that that's really yeah. dope so you know it's unfortunate what happened you know what i'm saying i'm i'm glad to see that you continuing you get what i'm saying like creating and carrying that legacy uh -huh. for you and your brother like you know when you lost them did you feel like it was going to hurt your music or hurt your career? Like, whereas though you wouldn't be able to do it the same way? Um, I ain't, I'm like, I wouldn't say hurt my career, but like, at a point, like, I was just on some, like, man, fuck that shit. Like, fuck right. that music shit. Yeah. Like, I just, like, that shit just, like, you feel me? Cause you, you know, we like, we started out together. You feel me? And like I said, all my music, now I got solo shit. You feel but me? it was all with. But him. all my music that I had with was you feel me with bro. Right. So you feel me? That shit was just like I just felt like that shit was just like pointless. Like damn, like you feel me? Like mm -hmm. they was supposed to hear you feel me our shit mac and cheese. You feel me? Right. And then that's what they you feel me coming into the industry. You feel me? I was rapping before this, but like when I started getting more attention is when me and bro did the mac and cheese shit. So that's what they know me from. Like right. every time they see me, they see bro. So it was just like, I just was like on some shit like, man, fuck that shit. Like Cause I went, was just on a so different perfect. type. I just had a different mindset like around that time for a little bit. But you feel me? I just like, you know, start taking time to myself, thinking and shit. Mm -hmm. And I just know like, like, like I said, bro wanted people to hear our music. He wanted people to hear us. He wanted people to hear me. He always used to say, bro, you hot as shit. Like, so I just was like, man, fuck it. Like, I'm going to just still do this shit. And that's the only reason I'm going to do this shit. It's just, that's it, because right. bro. That's going to drive you. Yeah. Now, now you got that, that reason, that purpose behind you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's one of them things where, like, now you, you can't 
you know, let them down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I always used to tell my uh, my grandma before she passed. She passed recently. But you know, you always tell grandma like, I'm gonna get us out the hood. Like mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I'm gonna do this. Like you're gonna be good. You ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna move you. Blah, blah. So like when she passed, it was like, damn. It, so no matter how hard this shit get, I can't stop. Cause I told her what I was going to do. You know what I mean? So now I, I feel like I, I have no choice. We got to do this shit. We got to take it to the top. There, there's no option. If yeah. I don't do that, then I broke a promise. You know what I mean? So I feel like I got to keep that drum. But um, so so your pop is actually the one who who kind of like uh, suggested y'all start the mac and cheese uh, yeah, collaboration. Yeah, because like for for I didn't even really want to do that shit when it first like when he first came up with the idea because... I was rap. I was like, we both was rapping at the time, but we was just like rapping. Like, bro was rapping. He was already YNG Cheese, and at the right. time, like, I was like, my name, my rap name was like Lib Money. Okay. At the time, <laughs> so you feel me? I was like rapping. We both was like on our solo shit, but we was still making songs together. We just wasn't like a group. Yeah. And then my pop, like one day, like he just was like, he just was like, y'all might as well just be a duo group. Like, mm. you feel me? It's gonna work. And we was like. Talking about like we would like be a name like I said at the time my name was Live Money mm -hmm. his name was YNG Cheese already so we was trying to come up with something there to go and he came up with Mac and Cheese and at the time like I'm like man I ain't doing that like, <laughs> you that ain't wanna run with the Mac <laughs> yeah that shit I felt I, at the time I'm like man that shit sound corny I'm not calling myself Cheese was with it because like I said his name was Cheese his already name was Cheese already so yeah. he was already with it I'm like bro I'm not changing my name to Mac like we Mac and Cheese that shit like I'm not calling <laughs> us that and my pop you know he was on some shit like no nah, I'm trying to tell you you gotta listen like I got a plan for it like you know it ain't Mac and Cheese like. You feel me, cheese is, you feel me, money, Mac, you feel me, for the bitches, y'all get bitches and money. Like, he was trying to, like, really put <laughs> it in my head. Like, <laughs> he like, I could get y'all endorsements, we could, you feel me? Like, so he was fact, really though. trying to put it in my head. So, like, after he started saying all that, I just was like, you know what, fuck it, let's do it. Like, it started me, you feel me? Yeah. Like, on the business aspect of it, it started making sense. Definitely. So I'm like, you know what, fuck it, like, let's just do it. And then we just went from there. Yeah. I can see the Kraft Mac and Cheese endorsement. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's a lot when of I first you heard that shit, I wasn't with it, though, at all. Yeah, that's crazy. And then it, bro kept putting it in my ear, too, Cheese. He like, bro, just come on, bro. And then, like I said, once my pop explained, like, the business aspect of it and, like, how he was going to push it and all that, I'm like, all right, come on, fuck it. Right. And y'all came out strong. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, uh, definitely. It was a lot of momentum built right. up when we, like, first came out and we dropped our first song. Was the first one to ignore? Yeah. Ignore. Yep. And that joint, they had it playing everywhere. Mm -hmm. It was going crazy with it. What what kind of response did you get from it? Like how, how was the streets feeling about it? How was the uh, other artists feeling honestly, about it? Honestly, it's crazy because I wasn't really like a big fan of that song. For real? No, like that's just some shit I just had made. Like literally, like when I made this shit, before I recorded it, I just said to myself like, man, I'm ready. I like... I'm ready to just make some like little bop, little catchy shit. Like you feel me? Right. Just some shit that sound catchy, and that's what I did. Like mm -hmm. I just, you feel me? Just was hit, play the beat, freestyle, and the shit just came. Like my diamonds they wet like water. Yeah. Now what you need? Place your order. Just some little catchy shit that got a bop. You feel me? Right. And I just recorded the shit, but I wasn't like that. Wasn't like a song that I was like if. If like to drop as my first song, that's not like a song that so, I would pick. Something that you would choose. But my pop, like I said, like he heard it and he like really fuck with that drum. Like he can't, he the one that came up with the dance and all that. <laughs> like he really like was like yeah. nah, like ah, that's the one. Like you, he like uh, again on the business aspect, TikTok to you know TikTok was jumping Fact. at the time, so he putting in my TikTok, you can start a dance. I'm telling you, it's going to go off. So I'm just like, you know what, fuck it. Let's yeah, just do it. just do it. Yeah, so we end up, I recorded uh, the song. We end up, uh, he came up with the dance. We shot the video. Now, mind you, before that, that's when I was running around. Me and bro was running around selling all the Mac and Cheese shirts. Mm -hmm. So like I said, it was like a lot of momentum. Like everybody in the city was buying them Jones people from up. Out of states was putting in orders, buying them Johns. Mm. You feel me? Uh, even before the song was out, Cosmic Kev, shout out to Unk. You feel me? He was spinning it guy. on the radio. You feel me? So when the shit dropped, I honestly thought like it was probably gonna do like 
um, like a hundred K like the first week. Like I was cool with that. Right. Like if it just did a hundred K, like I was cool with that. But like that shit, like what you think that shit did the first week? Like yeah, like four or five hundred K. I'm like, oh yeah, shit. Like once I seen that, like yeah. for real, for real, matter of fact, when it dropped. Like the next day when I woke up and I seen that shit, like was that? I think that shit was like at like a hundred and something k. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Then by the end of the week, that shit was at like four or five hundred k. I'm like, damn, that shit crazy. That shit just was like, oh shit, like they yeah. fucking with it, like the shit you yeah, didn't that shit even just, expect. Yeah, like because like I said, I I, I was cool with a hundred k. Yeah, I'm t- I'm telling myself like, man, if that shit do a hundred k, I'll be happy. So once I seen four or five hundred, I'm like, damn, that that shit, yeah. Yeah, that's that's mean. Do you feel like that that it kind of, because y'all next joint was, uh, damn, what was the next one? I ain't even write it down, but I I had it. It's another joint that went kind of crazy, but it had a little bop to it, too. It had, was it people on it? A feature on it? Because I had dropped the joint with me and bro and Ice Wear Vezo and Lil Yachty. It was called Detroit Flow. Oh, I heard that one too. It wasn't. It was something before that one though. But uh, we got Detroit we got Flo um. Is, we got only four. Me and Bro only dropped four songs. Unfortunately, it was, was it something with a P? Ignore pesos. Pesos. Who's who? In Detroit Flow. Pesos. Was, pesos was the next joint. Yeah. And it, it had that same type of little feeling and uh-huh. vibe to it. Yeah. Little energy to yeah, it. Yeah, that's how I be trying to make most of my shit. Like I make like just vibe shit. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I got all different type of shit. Like, me and bro used to make all different type of shit. It seemed like Pain at first you had some, yeah, like some street shit. Yeah, yeah. Prior to, you know, the uh, mm-hmm. ignore joint and all like that. Yeah, even when I make my street shit, though, like, I don't be trying to make it, like, on some super hard drill street shit. Right. Like, even my street shit that I make be, like, a vibe. Like, you feel some me? Chill shit. And I just be, like, you know, rapping about, you know, shit that be going on. Right. Yeah, no, that, that, that's, that's hard. Do you feel... That there's like a, a a pressure, like you gotta kind of live up to with your pop being Gilly and you know his rap acumen and his his resume when it comes to this shit. Um, yeah, I would say cause you feel me, my pop like you feel me, he like somebody for real. So right. yeah, but I just but then like I don't feel like like I just feel like a lot of people think like they really know like knew us like or knew how we. You grew know, up. grew up and shit like that. Like, yeah. you feel me? Like, so that's the only thing. Like, that kind of, it yeah, kind I of feel like they just, on. like, people think, like, we ain't never have to, you know, work for none or we just grew up in a, you know, big ass crib and yeah. all that type of shit. Like, we just, like, you feel and me? And it don't be going yeah. down like that. No. I, I, it's crazy you say that too, because I kind of, like, went through that as a young boy. Like, my pop was always known as a as a money boy. So it's like niggas always assume when your pop is a bull mm-hmm. that he's just giving you everything, not yeah. knowing like these niggas be the stingiest niggas for real, for real sometimes. They really make you work because they had to work for their shit. So they kind of make you, you know, they yeah, push but you. No, they, they like, it was like, I, I, ain't, I had like, but you know, like I, like I, I ain't saying like I, like just had the roughest life or nothing like that. But right. like, you know, it's just, I grew up like a regular kid, like normal, yeah. you feel me? Like I'm from Philly, but at a young age, I moved over Jersey, you feel me, with my grandma. Mm. Like, that's who I was, like, mostly raised with, like, my okay. grandma and shit. And I've just been back and forth because when, when I was living with my grandma in Jersey, my uh, pop and mom still was living over Philly. You feel okay. me? So I was just always back and forth, staying with my grandma, then going over there and staying with them right. to, you know, go visit them and shit like that. But I was, I moved with my grandma. I was going to school over Jersey. So I lived with her for, like, a, a long period of my life. And then my mom and pop moved over from Philly to Jersey when I was in high school, like my 10th grade year, going to 11th and shit. And then that's when I moved with them. Okay. All right. And shit. So I was like back and forth from Jersey to Philly, but I had grew up. I was like raised with my grandma now. That's dope. That's dope. Grandma always loved to live with, man. Uh, Grandma's a special. Real, up. For real. She cook for me every day. She yeah. still cook for me. I don't leave a litter no more. And she still cook for me, send food to the crib. Or every time I go there, like she start cooking something. Like, yeah. Yeah. I miss that shit, man. That was a, I had to start like making the shit my grandma used to make for Thanksgiving. Like she was mm-hmm. the only one who used to make that shit. So I make that shit now. Like just to keep her, you know what I mean? The traditions mm-hmm. alive and all that shit. But that shit used to be love. Wake up, pancakes. Cause she used to live with me and anything like when she when she got sick, you know what I'm saying? We we got a crib together and all that shit. But it got real, you know what I mean? Rest rest in peace, grandma. Damn. But um 
You fuck with that? Want a little that's strong? Strong. I told you I don't really drink like <laughs> yeah, that, bro. Yeah, you don't drink like that. See, for me, I only I'm, drink I'm like when I bull. go out. You feel me? I don't really like. I ain't really too much like of a liquor boy. I just mm-hmm. like smoke weed and shit. Yeah, I don't yeah. really drink like that. So that shit, I don't like the taste of liquor. That shit be strong. Then this shit, shit, this this compared to some henny ain't shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't drink, drink henny. No henny. If yeah. I do drink, I usually drink shit like tequila, like yeah, I'm a tequila like uh boy. like uh Don Julio or Patron, shit like that. That ain't really like too strong. Yeah, I'm a tequila boy too. But this shit, this this the show drone. It's like chill <laughs> vibe type shit. So what what when did you initially? Was it 2018 when you initially started rapping? For real, for real, I've been like. Rapping all my life, you feel me? Just because mm. my pop and I grew up in the studio, like just right. being with my pop in the studio, like whenever he go or, and I'm with him, like like I said, when I used to, you feel me, go over there, mm-hmm. you feel me, and stay with them, my pop, whenever my pop goes to the studio, you feel me, he used to take me with him. So I always used to like just love being in the studio. So I always used to like just write raps when I was a young boy. When I was right. a young boy, I had like my own little microphone. Laptop. I used to like be trying to record myself, all type oh, of shit, shit in the crib yeah. with my brother. Feel me, my homies just fucking around. So I always like like played around with it, but at that time I was like boxing and shit. Oh yeah, like, that's I right. Up, yeah, you, you yeah, did. Yeah, I grew you did, up you boxing. Box. Like I started boxing like when I was eight. You feel me? And I was just all on, always on and off with it. And then like I would say like around like sixteen. You feel me? Sixteen. Mm-hmm. I really stopped boxing. And that's when I would say I started taking the music really serious once right. I really stopped boxing. So, yeah, probably like around 2018. You used to want to be a boxer in the Olympics? Uh, Yeah. Like, yeah. a lot of people thought I was, like, going, like, grow up and be a professional boxer for, for like, I was sharp, like, when I was a young. Your I, pop, I your pop it, made you by, like, he put you into no. it? Because I know he be, you know, doing all that shit, too. No, no, that's why he do it. Because oh, I, I kind of yeah. got him, like, you feel me? Because, like. I just, one day we was just in a car when I was a young boy, and he was, like, asking me, like, man, what sports you want to play? Like, you want to play ball, football? I'm like, no, I want to box. And he was <laughs> like, what? You want to box? Like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Then he took me to the gym. My first time ever going to the gym, I went to Shuler's. You know that's? Yeah, Shuler's, Shuler's gym, yeah. Went to Shuler's. My first time ever being in the gym, they threw me in the ring with a nigga that already was boxing, already <laughs> had golden gloves. Threw you in the deep yeah, end. Yeah, fucked me up. All that. That's like, crazy. I, I was like a young boy. I was like eight. To the, like, when I was done, I'm, I had tears in my eyes, all that. I'm mad as shit. Yeah. They like, you still want to box? I'm like, yeah. They oh, like, shit. oh, all right, say no more. Then ever since after that, my pop just like, he bought some pads, some boxing gloves, used to train me in the crib. And then, you feel me, he started taking me to the gym and I start like really training and shit. That's hard. And you did eight years of that shit too, so you really got hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, ain't sure. with these niggas. <laughs> Man, that's hard. But even before that, like my pop always had us like fighting, me and my brothers fighting each other. Like he used to do like crazy shit like here. Like, he used to just try, you know, make sure, you feel me? Right, right. We, we could hold our own. But, like, when we was young boys and shit, like, my my pop, he he had tied, like, one of my shoelaces to my brother's shoelaces so we oh, can't shit. go nowhere and make yeah. us fight each other in the crib. <laughs> Real shit. We used, to, we used to box on the lawn. You know, <laughs> you only had one set of gloves, so one nigga get the right and one nigga get the left. And you got to put your uh-huh. hand behind your back. Like, just me, my cousins, my brothers, this is what we used to do. I uh, lived uptown, like, Pastoria Street. And that's how we start boxing. Just one hand. Niggas yeah. just be fucking niggas up. Whoever got the right hand, you's a lucky nigga. Mm-hmm. That's but what I'm saying. Just imagine, like, you... Tied to a Like, nigga. one of our yeah, shoes crazy. tied up right, near, right here. You can't go nowhere. We yeah. just in there... You Mixing. Feel? Yeah. That shit used to be funny. I ain't never shit. did no shit like that, though. That's that's wild. Ain't no, ain't no running. You got to no. get into it. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. And like you listen to your dad music a lot? Yeah, you grew I grew up? up listening to my pop music. Yeah. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, like my pop as a young boy, my pop was like probably one of my favorite rappers. Yeah, I grew up listening to my that's pop. That's different. Yeah. You know, I was always in the studio with him. Yeah. So you know, I just I just was a fan of you feel me, my pop music. I know a lot of his shit. Was you around other like artists, all the like state yeah. pop niggas and all no, that growing up? You no, know, at that time, like well nah. You know well, they I was know, beefing they, they had yeah, back yeah, then, but they did. I don't wow. That was like what year? You know what year they was beef? Like where when that state property and major figures beef I was? I can tell you the exact year. Probably you know what like year? Four oh five type shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, yeah. So I was yeah I was born. I was born in 1999. So yeah, like growing up, like probably like 
like you were saying, that shit started 04, 05, so like 06, 07, 08, and all that. Like, mm-hmm. I was still, like, I'd go to the studio with my pops. So I don't, I don't remember seeing them around that time, but earlier when I got older mm-hmm. and shit like that, like, probably like when I was like in high school, like 14 and shit like that, like, I used to be, like be seeing Freeway and in the studio with my pop, Beanie Siegel, Skino, and all yeah. of them. But like, yeah, I grew up like seeing like Meek Mill in the studio before he made it, Dang. PNB Rock before he made it. So like that shit be crazy. Yeah. Like you feel me when you see all these niggas yeah, people and making their see where they like at that. now. I used to, my pop had me around Will Smith in the studio before Dang. when I was a young boy. Cause he got music with everybody mm-hmm. too. That's the crazy part. Yeah. Like, Bill was always, I said it before, like he was always the go to. Like if a nigga was trying to build a a brand or a name and rap in the streets, like they had to go get. A guild track, a black the narrow track. Like it was certain mm-hmm. niggas they had to get stamped by right up, or if to niggas really get wanted picked to get, up in the streets. Get on the radio or get the cosmic cat. Right. Like right. I, I, I I remember like as a young boy, like my pop like plugged a lot of people in with Cosmic Cat. Definitely. Because you know they, they like they, brother, they got a they tight got, relationship. Yeah, they yeah. talk like every day, like in the morning. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like how you certain niggas that you got that's gang that you call every day in the morning yo bro what you on today when you check like, in, that's like yeah. how him and uh, cosmic kev is and that's hard so like as times where i used to like go stay at cosmic kev crib and shit like that that's like hard. stay the night and shit you know it's you got sons and shit sons yeah. like my cousin and shit so i used to stay at cosmic kev crib and all that oh that's hard damn bro you got you got vicious a vicious Growing up story, like, did that shit, like, inspire you? Because you get to see all these niggas, like, yeah, people that's with the names I, and go out and I feel like I got a shit. story, like, I always, like, two different lives. It's like, you feel me? One minute, like I said, I'm in Jersey with my grandma, you know, running around doing shit. You right. feel me? My homies out there. Then I come over to Philly, I'm with my pop. It's a whole different, you feel me? Right. Whole so, different like, vibe I feel like that's why I be saying I wanted them to do, like, a whole documentary, like, on my life. Like, eventually, you know, from... The time I grew up just boxing, like, you know, all that. I, I got, like, a story, like, my, like, shit crazy. That's hard. Like, all the way up until now, and then, you feel me? What type of shit did you used to get into in Jersey? Like, I know how that shit be when, when you ain't around your parents. You yeah, know, you, like, you know, like, you, you little young, like, you know, young shit that you trying to get into. <laughs> young hood shit. Like, I try, like, I, I ain't gonna lie, like, I was, like, burnt out, like, a little bit. Like, but I was, like, always the, like, kid that, like, you know, like, I'm around my family, like, I'm chill, I'm quiet. Yeah. You feel me? They think you're a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Like, it always was like that. But now, like, once, like, you feel me, my pops start hearing a little shit or finding out or seeing certain shit, like, he be saying now, like, nah, nigga, you ain't innocent. I ain't trying to hear that (laughs) shit no more. But just like little shit, like, I, you know, start start smoking at a young age, like 13, Mm. feel me? Being around like older people as a young boy, seeing them, I was like smoking black and miles and shit at like ten, <laughs> shit like that. You know, when I was thirteen, you know, just little shit. Start yeah, trying to right, sell, like, typical start shit. trying to sell weed, little shit like that. You right. feel me? Just you know, little when you little shit away, getting into do. fights and shit like that. And then being that my pop, who he is, he used to hear about certain shit. Like I remember when I was a young boy and shit, my homies, we some shit had happened. I went with them. You feel me? I end up, I ain't going to lie, that shit was crazy. This shit happened so fast, out of nowhere, the niggas that we was into it with. Now, mind you, I'm probably like 14 at the time. It mm-hmm. was my ninth grade year. I was 14 at the time. We had walked, you know, we wasn't driving at the time. We walked, we was like, they was my, the nigga I was with was into it. Well, for real, for real, one of my homies, his homie was into it. You mm. feel me with some niggas. That right. wasn't really my homie, but my homie Your was homie, going. Homie. So I'm like, all right, I'm sliding. Right. So we went up there. It was like six of us. You feel me? My my homie, that's my homie. He ended up fighting. You feel me? Beat dude up. They end up sliding. You feel me? So we damn near ready leave. The nigga that's like cool with my homie, he pulled up in the car. So we sitting there talking to the car. I, no lie, bro. When I looked. The niggas that they that we came there to rumble, bro, it was like, it was when we first was there, it was like four of them. Bro, I look, bro, it's four of them and like 20 niggas running our way. <laughs> the nigga that my homie man looked and seen and pulled off on us. 
in the world. Yeah, ain't let niggas get in there nothing. Us. So it's like 30 niggas, they running up. They like, what's good? It just so happened that I knew one of the niggas that was with them. He like, no, nah, chill, that's folks, that's yeah. folks. You feel me? So they still like popping shit, we popping shit, but they ain't like do nothing. So I, we walking back, like, like, you feel me? Like, they facing us, but, like, we walking, like, backwards, like, right. just popping shit to them and shit like yeah. that. You feel me? So they, like, it just so happened that I knew one of the niggas. And you feel me? So, like, they, down. like, was like, no, nah, like, you feel me? That's my man. We can't do that. Right. You feel me? But, oh, yeah, got bro, dark. that shit, 30 bro. Niggas. Like, yeah, we thinking we cool. Like I said, my man just beat dude up. We sitting there talking. Next thing I know, I just see, like, 30 niggas running down the street. I'm oh, like, yeah, oh, shit. Wild. I go back to the crib. Like, later on that night, my pop called me. Oh, you was ready fighting Camden? <laughs> I'm like, how the fuck he know this? He got like, eyes everywhere. But it just so happened, it was an old head out there, yeah. like, that uh, was right there when that shit was going on. So I guess he told somebody, yo, your son was in Camden. They was ready jumping. <laughs> All type of shit. 30 and, niggas. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It was 30 niggas, bro. Like, I ain't never, like, that shit was crazy. Like, you feel me? Just yeah. imagine, like, you, you, y'all go there, your homie beat dude up, now y'all popping shit, you think everything hey, cool. Hey, then y'all yeah, talking five shit minutes just later, you, right? you see 30 niggas pop up. They like, what's up? Like, I'm like, oh, shit. And then, did y'all get with main man that slid? What? The boy nah, that pulled off yeah, in the world. I, mean, I wasn't fucking with him no more. Yeah, he's supposed to get trash, yeah, too. Man, <laughs> man that was my up. man, folks. He, that, that's he nutty. was on some, like, oh, that's my folks and all. Like, Wasn't he like, the one y'all went up there for, though? Yeah, he pulled off on us. Oh, yeah, that's wild. That's turkey. That's yeah, I don't fuck with him to this day. Yeah, you could never. <laughs> yeah, ain't no telling. You can't kill. You can't kill on that nigga. You gonna slide. Shit get real. You gonna, you gonna slide <laughs> with thirty niggas. Like Soon you should say, rough. yo, hurry up, hop in the wheel. Like, damn. Yeah, that's crazy. But um, you ready to get into this food? Sure. Man, then we we gonna get into the tape. Talk about features. Talk about some people you worked with. Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Smooth. Mac in the buildings, cooking up 2 on 5. We be right back. Let's go. It's our favorite part of the show. That's your favorite. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, chef. What you got cooking? You already know. <laughs> you already know who it is. It's your boy Smoothin. It is my favorite part of the show. It's time to get into that food. And as usual, wow, if you know us, you know Q. It's my dog. She holds it down. What's up, Q? I'm good yourself. Look, if you ain't watching, you a stranger because then you don't know who I am. It's a problem. It's a problem. You start watching more. <laughs> Definitely. Let them know what you got for me. All right, y'all. So today we got a twice baked stuffed potato with cheddar mashed potatoes, some fried shrimp with a sauteed Cajun sauce with shrimp and lobster Logenstein mm. tails. Like when I say it's chef kiss today, I'm trying to tell you. You say twice big. You definitely gonna be twice big after this. I'm just saying. This drink different. <laughs> Y'all couldn't even see the potato before she filled it, hmm. so it ain't had a, the the potato filling. Like it was scooped out, whole different thing. Like I'm gonna have to try that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to steal some of you know It's alright. I'm gonna saying? show you how to scoop potato out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. This thing fire though. What you what, what you think, Mac? How you feel? Nah, this shit look good as shit. <laughs> I don't know what you say you can eat. Yeah, we about, we about to dig in this joint. Y'all ready? Come on, let's I'm toast. Ready. Toast, toast to this to this food, this good eats. Let's go. Y'all already know Q. Let them know where to find you. All at. right, y'all. Y'all can find me on Instagram at Chef Q underscore Cutthroat or Unique Creations Cater on Instagram. Y'all already know who it is. Your boy Smooth Chef Q Mac in the building. Let's get to this food. Let's go. Y'all already know who it is, your boy Smooth, and we right back at it with my man Mac in the building. Chef Q blessed us with something gorgeous, you know what I'm saying? This is pretty, this is exquisite, like, you know, you don't get shit like this at home. You barely get shit like this when you go out. You don't mm -hmm. get shit like this when you come on cooking up 215. So if you niggas want to eat good, you know who to call, you know what I'm saying? I got the chefs on deck, Q going to take care of you. But, um, yeah, this, this, this different, you know what I'm saying? This is the time when we... Pick the fork up. We say digging. You know, mm -hmm. tell them, tell them what it's hitting for. Mm -hmm. I don't even it's know how to attack this joint. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, do I go from the, the I angle? Know, I'm taking shrimp off. Yeah, first. I'm thinking it like you know, you go for a shrimp first. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and follow my guy lead. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go go with that. 
And it's crazy. We yeah, were, we were just talking shrimp. about the fried shrimp. Ain't that wild? Mm-hmm. Yeah, shrimp about. good. It's seasoned good and everything. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, awesome. That's right. shit. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is going to good as shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is it. Mm. I don't even know how you got in there, bro. How you do that? You just said, fuck it, huh? Yeah, that's because you playing. <laughs> <laughs> and you over here playing. You said, fuck that. Jump in that drum. Yeah, here we go. Huh, this drum great as shit. Mm-hmm. That's lit. That's good. Yeah, I'm trying to, I mean, balance my board and shit at the same time. Mm-hmm. That lobster popping. It's going to hit him. Mm. But before we left off, we had spoke on you doing the track. You know, you and your brother did a track, but... Um, I swear, Vezo, the Detroit Flow joint. Mm-hmm. How y'all make that happen? How, y- how y'all get into that? Um, he uh, he was doing a podcast with my pop and shit. Mm-hmm. The interview. Right. And, um, when he came to the John and shit, he, he cool as shit. He a cool nigga. Uh, I fuck with him. After the uh, interview and shit, um... He had came in the room, me and my brother, uh, we was recording mm. and shit. And he had, like, when he came in the room, we played some shit for him, and he fucked with it. You feel me? And he yeah. was, like, on some shit, like, right then and there. He was like, That's you feel dope. me? Y'all got some shit for me? Like, you feel me? Pull it up. And That's we played hard. some shit. He said he fucked with that shit. He said it was hard. And he did that shit right then and there, bro. Oh. I ain't gonna lie. He did his verse, like, in, like, probably, like, like 10, like dinner, 10, 15 minutes. He mm. just went right in there and just did that shit. That was hard. I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with him. Even when we went out to Detroit, shot the video. Mm-hmm. He was a cool nigga, genuine, all that. I fuck with him. Okay. And then the little Yachty shit. Um, I don't know how he, I, I ain't gonna lie. I, don't, I honestly don't know. I just know. I think Wallow said some shit like, he heard the song or he played it and he um like wanted to get on it and he just ended up jumping on it and shit. Damn. And then when they sent it to me, like, cause I didn't even know he was getting on it. Right. Then when they sent it to me with the verse on it, I'm like, oh shit, they got Lil Yachty on his drum. That's hard. Lil Yachty, a vicious drum. Mm hmm. This shit got muscles in it, kill. You acting crazy. She went hard. Yeah, this joint different. You gotta put this on the menu somewhere. Man, so you already got a bezo joint, you got a Yachty joint. Who's some mm-hmm. other, uh, you know, top tier people that you work with so far? Honestly, that's it right now. Okay. Um, But I got people, on, a couple of people on mind that, you feel me? Right. That I wanna work with. And like, um, I fuck with uh, um, Eastside Wan, he from Detroit. Okay. And shit, like, I fuck with him. He a genuine dude and shit. Mm-hmm. I had many, like, after the, like, shit with my, uh, my brother, after that shit with, uh, my brother Cheese, I had met him at my, um, Pop Gilly Fest joint. Okay. And, like, ever since then, he just been a genuine dude. Called me, you feel me, hit me up. Yeah. See how I'm doing, all that. You feel me? And that's, uh, Skiller Baby Manager. Mm. You know who Skiller Baby is? Mm-hmm. From Detroit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That's his manager and shit. And I fuck with Skiller Baby music before I even met him. Right. So, he like, that's somebody, too. like, you feel me? Like kind of like like the connection already there, and that's somebody that I'll do a song with. Cause you feel me, he hard. So right. like Skiller Baby, you feel me? I fuck with Kodak, No Cap. You feel me? You know, I fuck with G Herbo. Like you feel me? My brother Herbie showing a lot of love. Yeah, he he, he used to uh, G Herbo used to fuck with my brother Cheese. Like they they used to fuck with each other. Okay. And shit like that. Um, yeah. And when he came to Philly and he did the uh. When he came and performed at my pop, uh, the Gilly, Gilly Fest, Fest. Yeah. you feel me? Him and all his niggas and shit, they had, like, his niggas had uh, long-lived cheese shirts on. And mm-hmm. then he had a, um, 
he had a shirt and on the back of it it had long leaf cheese, cheese big yeah. and shit. So like he definitely he had the mosquito joint. Up. Yeah, and he just did a song with a uh, he did a song a feature with somebody and then a song like he mentioned cheese and all that. Mm-hmm. So he be showing love. Oh, it wasn't mosquito. I'm mistaken. It was modest. Modest, yeah, modest. That's yeah, shout out to them, yeah. He uh, mm-hmm. shout out to them. I fuck with their clothes too. Facts. We was talking, bro. You was supposed to been come. Me and modest, we been spoke. This probably was before Gilly Fest. I don't know what happened. I do be talking to a lot of people, so if it's on my part, my bad. But get with me, Brewski. Let's let's get that done. So I feel like he got a brand that was always popping in the city for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like he mm-hmm. been had had this shit going, mm-hmm. low key type vibe. But um. Yeah, I was at, I was at the uh, Girl Fest joint. That joint was hard. Like, was that was that like a hard situation for you to go through? Like, cause mm. that shit definitely got emotional. I seen yeah. you pop up there. Like, I was like kind of like, like I was into it, but I was like kind of zoned out. Like, mm-hmm. I was just in my own world, just thinking about you know. Mm-hmm. Cause that was like the first, you know, I know bro would have been with me for sure. Right. And then like I wasn't even trying to really perform and shit. Like they damn near kind of like they asked me. If I was gonna perform, I took like said no, mm. but then they end up just playing my shit on the like right. feel me, and then Wallow he just like kind of put me on the spot. He just kept saying, "Come on, Matt, do it for cheese." So I'm I'm just like fuck it. I just went up there, ended up performing the one song and shit. But right. it was definitely a good show. Like a lot of people came out. Definitely a good vibe. A lot of people packed. show love. It just I wasn't like you feel me. I just was you out of it. Yeah, you know what I mean. But was, definitely was a major show, show though. Like I, I seen like yeah, when they did like the tribute and just mm-hmm. seeing your pop kind of, mm-hmm. that's a hard draw. You know, like everybody felt that shit. That shit was crazy. But me came through like that joint was. They showed love that day. That shit was crazy. Beginning to end, packed house to the fight. But so let's talk trials and tribulations. Is there some people that's on trials and tribulations? No, well, just Sean Sloan. Okay. And then my brother Cheese. I ain't really want it to be like a lot of features on it because it's like it's like a, just a pain tape. I just want to mm-hmm. get it out there since mm-hmm. like everything that happened. I just want to release it. I know they want to hear. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Hear it, hear the pain and shit. And plus, like it's like personal. Right. So I just you feel me? And Sean Sloan, the song I got with him and my brother Cheese, it's kind of like. Y'all be in that, singing it's on kinda that, in that in that direction, so I put it on there. Y'all y'all give a little little harmony on mm-hmm. that joint. Mm-hmm. That's hard. I seen it. I'm like, damn, this joint sounds good. It sound, it sound a little different than most of the other shit like you do. Cause yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, feel like definitely. you do too much harmonizing and all that type shit. So I feel like it, it definitely was dope. It was showing like part of that process, like trying to like get you into the, like that the singing mood and. No, I kind of, I kind, I kind of been, um, I kind of been doing that for real, for real. Uh, it just like I said, I ain't got too much music out. Right. Like so, we so ain't dropped too much that music, shit, right. so yeah, they ain't really like hear all that. Right, got you. Yeah, no, that's hard, man. So, how many tracks you got on this joint? Um, honestly, like the track list I got right now, I would say fourteen. Okay. And the reason why it's so much, cause it's like, I feel like I ain't dropped music in so long, mm-hmm. and I know people have been like wanting to hear shit, so I just want to give them like I don't want, like you feel me, I just want you feel me give them enough you feel me, mm-hmm. like I was think I was at first I was gonna do like five six, but it's like I ain't dropped music in so long, it's like fuck it I just want you feel me give them a full project yeah. give them a full body mm-hmm. of work, that's hard. And what do you? What do you expect to come from this? Like, do you expect for this to turn into something else, go bigger, a bigger connection with the fans, or you just want to? Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be a bigger connection with like the fans and people that support me, because, like I said, they ain't hear so much music from me in Mm -hmm. a long time. Like, you feel me? And like I'm talking about, you know, personal shit, shit that go on. You feel me? So I feel like a lot of people are going to be able to relate to it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I feel like a lot of people go through the same shit, experience some of the same shit that I'm talking about um, throughout the tape. So 
Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna get a good feedback from it. I feel like a lot of people are gonna fuck with it, and it's like real. It's like you feel me. Everything like coming from the heart. You feel mm -hmm. me? It's just real shit. So I think they're gonna fuck with it. That's hard, right, man. Super hard. I look forward to hearing it and catching catching that vibe. I definitely look forward to seeing like you know how that joint play out. The vibes, the energy you give off. Since it's it's more like personal. It ain't no features. It's just more straight you. I think that's dope. That's hard. That's a good way to go too. Especially and all when the joints, connection. all the joints, like even though they all on some like pain shit and like just shit like that I'm going through, they all still like different. Like you feel me? Different flows, different like beats, mm -hmm. like everything. That's, that's crazy. So where do you see yourself when it comes to to music? Like how? What kind of artist do you want to be? Like, you really want to go serious with this? You battling for a Drake position? Or you do music for the love nah, of I it? wasn't. I wouldn't say that. I just do music because I just grew up. I got a love for music. I don't really care to be, like, the best rapper or nothing like that. Like, right. I just do it because I love it. Like, I just... I want to do a lot of shit. I'm into a lot of shit. So that's just, like, like where my passion at. And I just want to use that to open up doors for other shit. Mm. Like, I don't want to rap, like... You feel me? Be like older rapping, like you feel me? Cause like right, I right. say, I don't care to be the best rapper or none of that. I just wanna, you know, get to where I wanna get to in music, so that can open up doors for me and to you do, do all other, the other shit. shit. Yeah, right. like I wanna like into you know like certain shit like acting. I wanna get into acting. That's hard. Me? Little modeling gigs and shit like that. Feel me for like clothing brands. You you used shit. to make clothes like two thousand. Yeah, that's what right? I was ready to say. I got a clothing. Yeah, I was uh, making clothes, making my own clothes. Like in high school, I had my uh, own clothing line. You feel me? Then I just stopped that shit, and then I was selling the mac and cheese uh, merch. But mm -hmm. I'm about to drop this clothing line and shit called Umbrella Committee soon. Okay. Like I'm in the process of getting some shit made. That's hard. Yeah. That's hard. I see a uh, Wallow guy. You got it on now too. Yeah, yeah. The uh, airplanes, the hotels, and shit. Mm -hmm. That shit hard. That shit definitely got me in my bag. I used to, you know, we had a clothing line. We had a uh, 13 speed and shit. Uh -huh. It just be so much shit, like, you know what I mean? And then it's like, when you ain't got that real bag to put behind that shit, you can't get busy how you want to. Because, like, you could really get nasty with that shit when you got a little, little something you could use to really take that shit to the next level. Like, I like I like Wallow shit. I like how he did that. And it just made sense because of the lifestyle you live. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So I guess if you that same type where you travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jumping on air that's why, in the hotel. Yeah, that's why the, the clothing line, umbrella committee that I'm about to drop, that's why I feel like that joint going to be like hard. Especially because the designs and shit that I'm getting made, you feel me, the shirts, the sweatsuits and all that, the hats, the socks. I have scarves, like, you know, like mm. like actual cashmere scarves and shit that you yeah, can wear. A bunch hard. of all type of shit, hats, everything. Um, it's like a streetwear. Yeah, it's going to be streetwear, but I'm going to still have like, a, you know, like right. where it's like you get a uh, classy shit too, oh, feel me? Where you can switch up, but like I feel like a lot of people are gonna fuck with that, and plus a lot I feel like they gonna fuck with the meaning behind it, like you know umbrella committee, like it mean like you know like an umbrella, it like you know stop you from getting wet, like protect you from getting wet. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's what like it symbolized, like basically like anything that you value in life could be a relationship. You feel me? It could be. A bond that you got with somebody, your goals, your dreams, your energy, anything. Like, mm -hmm. you got to put protection on it. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, that's what the umbrella symbolized. And then committee is just, you know, like an organization. Right. You know, so if you, you feel me? If you put protection on anything, your family, right, your right. goals, your dreams, whatever, you feel me? Umbrella committee. That's hard. Appreciate it. That's hard. I love you. You got some mock ups already? Like, you already yeah, got shit yeah, yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I yeah, look I forward to seeing that, shit. bro. Yeah, definitely show me some. Send me some too once this uh -huh. shit get pressed up. Hell, <laughs> no, hey, I got you. I got I'll you. be the person who, you know, umbrella committee that pass it on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We throw that shit off. Yeah, I got you. Play that shit right. You know what I mean? Get the, the, the frames to match. I got <laughs> you. I got you. You know what I mean? Put my affiliate link in the bio. I got y'all. At least y'all. Get y'all umbrella committee shit for me. But, um, yeah. So some acting. And, yeah. and, and it's crazy, your pop did acting too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so mm -hmm. that's wild. So you kind of like, mm -hmm. yeah, I be into, got a lot of the same footsteps yeah. and shit. Kind of go to that same thing. Into a lot of shit, like just you know, just 
trying to get, trying, I be into like trying, I ain't like really start yet, but I've been looking into it, doing my research, trying to get into like real estate and shit too like that. Mm. Uh, oh, you got it there. You ain't playing. Yeah, I'm trying, I just be trying to do it all. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you get this shit down, then you can just, mm. like you That's said. That's why I was saying I be trying to use the music, so you feel me, once I get to where I really want to be at, like, you feel me, mm-hmm. I can start really, you know, doing Branching other doing shit. Your thing. Yeah. But right now, but the clothing line shit, that's about to drop soon. Like, I'm in the process. Like, I already been talking to manufacturers and shit. That's why I'm saying I got the, they just sent me uh, messages today, like, uh, like how, like, the actual design look right. on the material yeah. and all that shit. You feel me? Because they supposed to, uh, you know, that shit get made overseas. Yeah, that's So they, they uh, about to send me, like, uh, some sample the products. samples and shit. So yeah. I can see, like, how it's going to actually look and then. Once you feel me, once that shit, you feel me, like come and it look good, I'm gonna put the order in and then get that, that shit, shit bouncing. That's a good drum, bro. You about to get me on my shit, cause I've been, I've been bullshitting. I'm like, I've been, it, it was just crazy for me. Like, I like this shit, so you got an umbrella committee. Mm. But, you know, we got cooking up, and my thing mm. was like, damn, I need merch, but I don't, like, we got shirts. And I'm gonna make sure I give y'all some shirts before y'all go and shit. But, you know, it's just the logo vibe. Now, I mm. did a special with the, the, uh, Chanel patch with the embroidery yeah. and all that. But it be like, I want to get freakier than that. Like, you know, I come from like really designing different shit. So it was like, I just don't know how you do that with just a, a podcast name. Like, you know what I mean? But I'm going to think of some fly shit, but I really yeah, want to nah, be able to get nasty with it. I feel like when, that's why, like, even, this is like kind of the same thing with like the mac and cheese shit. Like, mm-hmm. I, I had that, but I felt like that was just like, you feel me? Like, a bunch of people just wearing shirts with just our name just written across. Right. That's why I started Umbrella Committees because I feel like that right there, I feel like you're going to really be able to get dressed with. Like, you feel right. me? Really? And then, like, I'm in the dressing. Like, I like getting dressed. I always, you feel me, used to try you yeah, know, you get dressed, get shit, fly as a young boy. So, like, you feel me? I'm into fashion and shit like that. Mm-hmm. That's why, like, you feel me? You said, like, in high school, I had my own clothing line. And that's some shit I just did on my own. Like, you feel me? Saving bread from like little shit, you mean? Right. And then I just put that shit together, got like a logo made. I had a name in my mind already. And I and I had my folks, you feel me, from over here right. and shit. Paid him, he pressed the shirts up for me. I had ordered my own like shirts online, my own material. I yeah. took it to him, he pressed them drones up and I was just selling them shits in like school and all that shit. shit like everybody was buying them shits for me. That's hard. What, what, what was the name of the clothing line? Diligence. Diligence? That's yeah. hard name. So you come up with Mean some like good shit. Mean like hard work. Yeah. yeah. That's hard. It's, I still could do that shit. I just ain't never like, I I had that shit in high school. I just ain't never you really want something new and fresh. do with it. Yeah, but I like, I still could do it though. I just ain't, you feel me? I, I like Umbrella Committee. I think Diligence is hard, but I think Umbrella Committee, it, it kind of go with the, you know, like the, the noun. Of yeah. things like you yeah, know that's what I mean? what, and that's too. That's what I wanted. Like I wanted something like stand out too. Like when you hear, it. Yeah. like 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 how you hear other certain shit. Like feel me, gallery, uh, department, or you know, off white, or the shit like hell star, like all that shit that be out now. Like right. I wanted something like when you hear it, like it sound different. Like Thanks. umbrella committee, like like you feel me, it sound like something. You could you could do a lot with that. Yeah, you could play with that certain ways and make that shit bounce. Like and I was like even thinking like you feel me like. Once this shit get big, like transpire and probably, you know, probably turning it to a, like a record label or something. Like, you feel me? Because I already got like far as like the legal shit, like I already got an LLC and all that shit. Right. So, you feel me? I'm good on that part. So you be opening to uh, uh, starting a label too? Yeah, like I, I definitely want to like, you feel me, sign artists and shit like that. Because I feel like just being around my pop since a young boy and just being around all this shit, like I kind of know like. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, w- kind of what it takes, like, for artists and, you feel me, the steps and what they need and the process and, you feel me, certain shit it takes to, for an artist to start, you feel me? Right. Getting some, you feel me, like, and start you next, buzzing you and next shit. to that process, too. Yeah. So, like, your sister, she at the beginning stages yeah, of her definitely. shit. Yeah, definitely. So, you got... Uh, she you, doing her thing right now. Yeah. Shout out to her I, too. I love her. Mm-hmm. her uh, the song that's out right now on that genius. That what, what's hard. wrong with uh, Brent Fires and um, Not even Insta. that one. The one she got by herself. Where she just uh, dropped the video in the bathtub. I don't know the name of it, but she be talking about a nigga. Mm. Like, it, I, I really wish I knew the name of that joint. But it's hard, though. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I forgot that. But I know she dropped the joint. Um, 
Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> yeah, it's your go crazy. I just wish I knew the name of it, but that shit is she do her thing. Yeah, she got another single out right now that's uh do a good too. It's called Got Me Fucked Up, G M F uh U. Okay. Yeah, that joint hard too. Yeah, she got some shit with her. So it's like you 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 around that beginning stage yeah, yeah. and somebody taking off uh, off the ground and shit. Have y'all done some work together? No, not yet. No, not, not yet? No, no, no. What y'all waiting Because my on? sister just like Honestly, she just like I didn't. We didn't never know she was like really into music. Oh, you feel so me? She that like shit late, just came she out like of nowhere. Bloomer, like I used to hear her like singing and shit like in the room, but like we never knew she was like really going to do music. Mm. Like you feel me? She was like, uh, like my sister's smart. Like she was always good grades, honor society, and all that shit. Like all right. the good programs, and you feel me? Like she in college now too and shit. But like my sister used to say shit like she want to be like a a marine biologist, all that type of shit. Like, we, <laughs> yeah. when we as kids, so I never knew she was gonna do music. That shit just came out of nowhere recent. Like, even when she was recording, like, she ain't, like, when she used to be in the studio, like, she ain't never, like, tell us or be like, oh, yeah, bro, I'm about to go to the studio and record. Like, right. she used to just go record on her own. Yeah. So that shit just came out of nowhere one day. Like, my, I just heard my pop say, like, hey, oh, yeah, your sister, she be recording and all that. Um, that shit just be, but we just never like got a chance to make music. Like we've been in the studio together and all that. Like she'll be in one room recording, me and Cheese and be in another joint. other room recording, locked in. But I don't know. We just ain't never like get to do no song yet. I, I think that shit will be fire because she definitely got that. She got that other element. So I feel like uh, you you mix that with your with your rap, with the singing and that rock star shit. She kind of got. Yeah, you know I mean she got that urban rock star in mm-hmm. it. That shit gonna go crazy. You put that shit together, bro, that's a vicious recipe. Now you got a record that you could really kind of yeah. cross over with. Like you know what I mean? Like some commercial shit. Right. right. You got some shit that's going to reach a whole different kind of audience and really push your shit up there. Like, you're not just going to be just on no rap shit. Mm-hmm. That shit going to be a whole different bracket. So that's all right, man. Y'all, y'all definitely got it. It's vicious. It's just like, I don't know if niggas ever really, like, kind of seen that. Like, you know, we always seen Gil, but, yeah. you know, always knew he had kids. But to know, uh, like, now I guess now y'all of that age yeah. where niggas could start taking their reins, that's vicious. Like, whole family just on some other shit. Yeah. That's yeah. hard. That's hard. That's really vicious, man. So, you know, but so, do you got a date for the tape? Uh, not, nah, nah, not an exact date. I just know um, I want it to be out, like, when the new year start, like around when it, the beginning of the new year, okay, I probably drop it. But I'm gonna have, I'm gonna drop something before that. I'm uh, about to shoot this video and shit to the intro. I had put like a snippet on my uh, page and shit. I heard that, John. A lot of people was fucking with it. They were saying Definitely they feel hard. it. So uh, I'm about to shoot a video to that, drop that, and then after that, you feel me? I'm dropping the tape. You know, was Fetty, Fetty, he not on that intro. That Fetty G, Fatty G joint. No, 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 but that's, that's bro, one. that's that's uh bro, Fatty G. Shout out yeah. to him and shit. He do music too. But that yeah, I had post uh posted he posted a snippet that I got on Instagram with him too. Right. I got some shit coming with uh bro too. He from Jersey though. Yeah. You got a track with a London nigga. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to bro, kid Tanner. Yeah. Yeah, he from London. I had went out London for a week. You feel me? Cause my mom, she do like makeup and shit. Yeah. For like like movies and shit like Marvel. And all that type shit. So That's she was right. out lunch. She was like, it be times where like when she when she be like working doing makeup for movies and shit, she'll move somewhere where they shooting the movie at for like months and shit. Damn. So she was living out London for a little bit, and uh, this was around the time of my birthday uh, and shit during the summertime. So you feel me? I had went to London to visit her and shit and stay with her, and then I had also like went out there for my birthday and shit too. Yeah. And then when I was out there, I had linked up with bro and shit. You feel me? And I was damn near like, whenever I wasn't like with my mom and she was at like work and shit, yeah. you feel me? I Bro would come pick me up, like, you feel me? Take me around, show me around. And we just got locked in and shit. Show and you know it ends. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you know it's different because, you know, some of them, like, you know, that's like a, so everybody don't got a passport, you know? So niggas be, and then they be on the same shit out there too. Like, bro from the trenches. Like, he had mm. me in his hood, his projects, all that shit. Do it look like our shit? Uh... The projects, I mean, they shit like kind of different. Like it's way, it's like it kind of like New York. Like mm. they projects be like big as shit. They still got like the tall. You feel me, Jones? High and it be drink. a lot. Like it be a lot of them. 
Like, oh, you feel shit. me? Yeah. Like, you know how you see on the New York projects? It right. Be a lot, like, that's how it kind of looked it out there a little bit. Okay. Like, far as the project tip. And they be on the same shit out there. Like, me, when me and bro shot the video, yeah. like, when we left, niggas came through and sh started shooting. For real? Yeah. Out of London? Yeah, we up. That's crazy. Up. But they be on, like, a lot of stabbing each other and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, I heard, because they, they, like, real vicious yeah. on the guns like, and shit. Like, the, niggas don't be having guns yeah, as much cause as like, we do. Yeah, because, like, it's like the, uh, the penalties for that shit be, like, way crazy. more. Yeah. And it's, like, more expensive to get a gun out there. Like, right. when I was asking, niggas, like, how much it costs, like, to get one, like, niggas was saying, like, 3000 and shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Because it's so, like, you feel me? If you get caught with that, Jones, like, the real repercussions is way you feel me different than yeah, over sweet. here to the point like the cops don't even carry guns out there that's how like i'm like yo what the fuck right like, i the seen cops a nigga don't carry no straight guns time out work. There. the only time they like come out with guns if it's like some serious shit going on like damn near you oh, feel me yeah, a riot a big ass riot or some shit like that but like far as like just driving around like how like regular cops walking around driving around yeah. they don't carry guns we need shit like that over here Heard. All these niggas, like I'm talking about, the niggas don't need no guns, the cops don't need no guns, they keep shooting niggas. That's the type of work we need. Niggas gotta just get some knives, man, get some pocket knives. But you yeah, gotta get up close to get a nigga, you know what I'm saying? You niggas be shooting and missing <laughs> shit. We don't need no nothing, no more of that heard, shit. Heard up. But no yeah, shit. that, that I, I, bro, uh, bro, uh, when I was out there, he definitely was showing me around and shit, bro, a solid nigga. Yeah, so you got some worldwide shit, man. Some yeah. London work. You outside. Mm -hmm. you yeah, outside I be tapped in with a lot of niggas across and shit. I got some shit coming with my man, 52 Paco. from uh, He from North Carolina, Winston-Salem. Okay. I had drove down there and shit. From here? Uh, like, yeah. From, yeah. Oh, that's from hard. Jersey and shit. Yeah. I live with Jersey. I had drove down there and shit with a couple of my homies because one of my other folks, he uh, lived down there. And you know, niggas usually like catch flights and shit, but... Like, we just, I'm like, man, fuck it, let's just take a road trip. End up yeah. driving down there and shit. Got locked in with him and shit. And that was, like, probably, like, like how long you think? Like, two, three years ago, bro? Four years ago. Mm. And ever since then, like, me and bro just been tapped in. So you've been, you been on game. Like you've yeah, been yeah, like, every shit. city I go to, I be, like, you feel me, locked in with niggas. Like, it's good to have yeah. a connection everywhere, everywhere you go. You go. Yeah. In case you need anything or you feel me, anything. That's a good, that's a fact. And vice versa, if when, you feel me, when they come, when out, they here, come out here, they fuck with me, you. Yeah. Right. You tap in with each other, you know what I'm saying? And at the same time, you build that 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 connection. So everywhere you got a couple fans here, a couple fans there, so you mm -hmm. motherfucking worldwide, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's hard, right, man. So you ain't got no date for trials and tribulations. We know it's coming soon. Anything else you working on besides the clothing line that, that's about to, you know, come up or come out that you want to tell them about? Uh... No, for real, for real. Honestly, that's like my main two focuses right now. The clothing line, getting that shit up and running. Because like I said, the shit is already getting made. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I want to push that. Like, you feel me? Yeah. And the 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 tape, for real, for real. Because not only that, it's just like everything. I'm, I'm speaking like, you feel me? People that I lost, like the homies that I got. That's like, you feel me? Locked up. Like, I got a lot of homies that's locked up right now. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Even my bro that's with me right now, my man uh, Saudi and shit, he just came home and shit, you feel oh, me? Shit. And uh -huh. a lot of my niggas, like, you feel me? Like, they hear my music and, like, they be pushing me sometimes, too. Like, you feel me? Because they be like, man, bro, you hot as shit. Like, you, you feel me? Like, they need right. to hear you. So, like, I do this shit for them, too. Like, you feel me? Cause they be motivating me, too. Like, you feel me? To keep going. Mm -hmm. And, like, when they call me... Like, you feel me? And if I'm around where I could play it off another phone, right. I'd be letting them, letting them hear the music. And, like, you feel me? They just be telling me, like, bro, you got to, you feel me? Get that shit out there. Like, right. you know I mean? Thanks. So I do that shit for them, too, and shit. But that's my main shit right now is getting that Trials and Tribulations tape out. You feel me? I just want them to hear it. And plus, I, I, I want to get that pain shit out the way, too. Yeah. You feel me? Because I got, like, other type songs, too. You know, songs for the female. I got a lot of songs I've been doing, too, for the females and shit, too, that I feel like they going to fuck with. Right. So you got to give them that pain shit, clear clear your slate. Yeah. Get it off your chest. So then you could give them the, the high vibration of shit. Mm -hmm. I look forward to it, bro. You going to have a, 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 a studio listening joint and all that type shit? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. We need to invite. You Definitely. know what I'm saying? I come through. We do our thing. 
That'll be a hard job, man. But I appreciate you coming through. Sure, appreciate hope, you. Hope you enjoy the food. Yeah, no, you know definitely. It was good as shit. Yeah, he, he took that down. I'm waiting. I stayed his <laughs> last bite on purpose. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, I to told you I was going 2.5. Yeah, he yeah, wasn't it fucking to around. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel it. He demolished that joint. But it was a good job, man. Great job. I can't wait. Make sure y'all follow my man. Y'all already know where he at. 37 Mac, Trials and Tribulations, top of the year. Definitely. You on it. Umbrella Committee be on the lookout. You know what I mean? Y'all already know what's up. For sure. Y'all already know what it is. Your boy Smooth. Smack. 37 Mac. Long live cheese. You already know. Here we go. Cooking up 25 best podcasts in the city. Let's go.